him around. It, these videos, a video appeared out of nowhere and an audio voice note appeared and these two pieces of whatever you would call them were going viral and every, you know, they were going viral. Everyone was sending them around. And I remember at the time, I had never seen nothing like it. Like, this was one of them stories. Every now and again, you get them stories that are like galactic levels. And you know that so many people are, are so interested in in the actual discussion around the topic. So upon doing, when the, the, the situation came out, it was on a Tuesday. We usually record the show between Tuesday and Wednesday. So when the situation come out, I said to myself, let me not rush to go onto the actual podcast and discuss this without a bit more information coming out. Mm. So what I did, I have a few guys who have, have previously played professional football who, when topics around football come up, I'm able to tap in with them and, and, and ask certain questions. So I tapped in with a particular footballing legend. You know, I can't say his name, but he's a footballing legend, you know, who's played at the highest level, week in, week out, was a top goal scorer. And me and this individual got into a conversation on the phone. This was the first of two conversations with footballers. And he broke down certain things to me that goes on in that football world. And basically what he was trying to explain to me is that there's so much money involved in that sport that people, men become as desirable as women in football. Meaning that women almost throw themselves at the players, you know, day in, day out. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, why am I saying all of this? Now I'm saying all of this because what he was trying to explain to me is that sex becomes normal. Like it becomes, when a man can have sex at the click of a finger, it becomes boring to him. So what then happens is people start to entertain different methods of having sex. And this is what he was explaining to me. Now I done two pieces of content where people were, there was a lot of people that you know understood what was being said, but a lot of other people took it as it was like victim blaming. But I was, all I was doing is relaying the message that the footballer had said to me. So. When I really looked into this case, the Mason Greenwood case, and I really got to see that his partner had got back with him maybe, I think it was like a week after the news came out, they had got back together. The father of the partner had not said anything negative about Greenwood at the time or any time moving forward. The family themselves stuck together so what I was trying to say on the, on that show is there's something here that we're not seeing. We're not seeing something. There's something, the way other parents have gotten behind Greenwood, there's something we're not seeing. There's a, there's a piece of the puzzle we are not seeing. So all I was trying to say to people is based on what we have seen, it looks horrific and yes, you know, he should do whatever needs to be done. But we do not know the facts. And when it comes to cases like this, people, we have to know the facts. And what I'm trying to say is, again, the court of law and the court of public opinion are two different things. Now, I'll give you an example. Showing me a video or a picture of an injury that is one thing, but I now need to prove that that person committed that crime. If I'm unable to prove that, then how can I then charge that person or convict that person with the crime? Secondly, the audio note, there's not enough there to convict Greenwood of the crime if the if the victim, the alleged victim, is not 
willing to assist in the police's inquiries or investigation. If the person's not willing to do that, the police do not have anything to push an investigation forward. Now, the reason why this case has dragged out for so long is because Greenwood is a high-profiled individual. Yes. Secondly, Greenwood, the story was that viral that the, they could not have dropped the charges any sooner without there being backlash. Now, that's where I'm going to leave it for now, Noble. I've got a lot more to say, but come through. You're not on mute, are you? Um, no, 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 no. <clears throat> Pardon self. Um, just to go back and touch on what you were saying, reference the the changing of the sexual patterns of of um, footballers. We can, you know, we can extrapolate that a bit further. We are specifically talking about, you know, these footballers who are in a very, you know, powerful position. People do look up to the male and female, but Let's look at the psychology behind this. Okay, you can have sex at the drop of a dime, blah, blah, blah. It's not as enticing, you know. You're in this position where you can get pretty much any girl. Now, let's unpack that more, especially with the generation of today. Growing up, born in, let's say, the 1990s, the early thousands, whatever, to a, a, a mobile computer, which we call smartphones, with no restrictions on there. We've got a um, children's health bill kind of thing to try and, you know, that are, are, are watching. Now, we ain't talking about like fight videos and all that kind of stuff. We're talking about hardcore graphic pornography at an early age that these minds are being exposed. idea and those those patterns that start to develop in essence let's let's just cut to the chase the brain is being rewired by watching these graphic forms of pornography now look pornography is pornography but we can see there's different types we've got real graphic hard violent stuff which now is becoming the norm so with your brain being rewired watching this content, it goes without saying that all this kind of stuff, what? No masochism no, business, no, but, no, is but, that going to get my rocks no, off? No, but jump straight over to um to Skype, because you, what you're saying Can is... Can I get into this state? Of no, but jump, jump to Skype, the audio's playing around for some reason. Blessed. Yeah, just hop to direct to Skype. Sorry, people, we're getting back on Skype, but we let Noble carry on with what he's saying as he jumps back in on Skype. All right, here we go. Noble Supreme of the UK, Dreadpool. Check, mic check. One more time, please. Mic check, mic check. Yeah, man, you're back in the building. Go through, Noble. Blessed. Should I repeat the whole thing, or did you get um, the majority? We of it? got to the point where you were saying that individuals are consuming this graphic okay. pornography, and that's yes. so, all. Yeah, from there. Yeah. Okay. So what is taking place is the brain is being totally rewired from a normal sexual gratification standpoint. Your brain is now rewired to looking at the most hardest the way the way that you get fulfillment is going to be by the most hardest means choking or kind of weird stuff. I'm not even going to get into the kind of stuff that's on there. But as a result, you are now desensitized to quote unquote normal sexual patterns and behavior. So based upon that, it takes no more than a short period of time for you to now be saying, let's get into this bondage thing. Let's get into this sadomasochism business with the safe words. Let's get into um, uh, the LGBT community and, and transsexual business. Let's explore the whole gambit. I got money, you know. I want to fulfill myself. I can't do it the way I used to be able to do it. So let's get it in. 
Real talk. Real talk. That's what's taking place. That's what's taking place. No, but let's keep this thing 1,000 here. There's people that are attacking the... People are attacking the the act, which is, you know, the alleged act, which, you know, we don't know exactly what's gone on. Mm -hmm. But the mentality behind how we get to that act is by taking a 17-year-old, yeah, paying him... £75,000 a week, yeah. giving him galactic levels of power and then expecting him to be like the rest of us in society. That's just not the case. It's not yeah. going to happen. Now, I understand why people don't want to see the individual play football again, but we have to stick to facts only here. And the facts are... If, you're, if you are charged with a crime and you present your case and for whatever reason the, 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 the person that's bringing the charges pulls out of the investigation, the charges are dropped and there is no case to answer. So how can we now say the individual cannot make a living? Now I understand that it won't be easy for Greenwood to make a living. It's going to be very, very, it might be one of the hardest things that, you know, he, he may ever face in his life. But we have to understand that just because we see images and hear audio, we do not know, only they know exactly what's gone on. Yes. We know what it looks like, and this is no way in a defence for Greenwood all we can see is what it appears to be. We don't know exactly what's going on, which is why I say to people, you know, it ain't too far for you to look at situations where evidence can look can look one way, but then it's not that way. There's loads of cases like that. Mm -hmm. Now, the context. It's about the context. And as you say, ultimately, it's those two individuals and whoever else was involved in that situation. They know what went down, you know, all we can do is, as you say, look at the information which has been presented in, in the masses via WhatsApp and all the rest of that there and form our own opinion based upon that until the evidence, yeah. the facts are brought forth, then all we can do is speculate, hypothesize and get into our feelings and emotions. And as human beings, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to wonder, we're going to think, we're going to say, oh, what if that was my daughter? I've got a friend and he plays football. Is he going to be doing these kind of things? Yeah, of course, we've got to ask those questions. Yeah. But until we can prove, not speculate, prove what took place, then unfortunately, like, we got to come out of our feelings and deal with the reality of the thing. And, and like, when we say prove, Noble, we have to be able to prove beyond reasonable doubt. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh that the individual is guilty of this because again, I can't, I can't, I couldn't bet my right arm that he's guilty and I couldn't bet my right arm that he's not guilty. So what that means is there's a job at hand for the powers that be to do that where they can bring all of the, remember they would have went through Greenwood's phone. They would have went through his girlfriend's phone looked at all the messages, everything. And what I'm trying to explain to you is f the footballers, the footballers themselves agree that you can't take everything at face value. This is what pro ballers are saying. You can't naturally in the time that we're living in now, yeah. yes, a man can't stand too close naturally because the times we're living now, it's not, hard to get labeled a certain thing but we have to have to go off the back of facts only now you got all these people that will come out and say rape victims it's only three percent conviction rate now i understand that i do understand that but due to the nature of how high profile this case is if there was anything there believe me they're finding him guilty because that's the only outcome that they would really want for this case. It's not due to, 
again, it's not based on Greenwood himself, you know. This is about the era we're living in and the message it sends out. Yes. So that's why they were pushing it so hard. But you have to remember that the girlfriend and him know their relationship. There's so much people in today's world who they look at others' relationships. Now, what I'm saying is, me personally, how I see a union with a woman, I believe that's the correct way to look at a union with a woman. Yes. But a next man, his, his way of a union with a woman could be completely different from that. Now, am I wrong or right for questioning his union? You see what I'm saying? Now, what I mean yeah. by that is there's people involved in all sorts out there. Exactly. There's people that do swinging. There's gimps. There's all kind of sick fetishes that go on. I remember at one point, the most popular book was oh, Fifty gosh. Shades of Grey. Mm -hmm. Now, this was about a man who was literally whipping girl, making them sign a contract to safeguard himself yes. and was literally introducing pain with pleasure. Mm -hmm. Now, me personally, that couldn't, that, that's not normal for me. But for a next man, that's what he does. And what I'm trying to say to you is, yeah, I'm struggling here to understand how girls find pleasure in being whipped and all that, but they still do. Now, I've been around ballers and I've seen things that I have not seen outside of that world. I'm telling you this with my own eyes. I've seen the most beautiful women that, you know, that I've I've seen some of the most beautiful women give it up in less than 10 seconds flat due to the nature of a person's income. Yes. I've seen women lose all their values. I've seen women participate in group sex and all kinds of things due to the nature of a person's income. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm saying is the Greenwood situation when I listen to the voice note, yeah, I don't know what that is. Genuinely, if you put me, if 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 the powers that be came to me and said, Mark, if you can solve this based off of those two pieces of evidence, we will give you 10 million pound. I still couldn't solve that case because because of the individuals that are involved I know that it's more than meets the eye. Then when I look at the parents' actions, and you know, people might say, oh, it's money, but they would actually make more money by taking way. Green without the game. Mm -hmm. This is what people don't understand. You could blackmail him like crazy. He would have to pay because there's no, there's no way out of this for him if that girl was to go full steam ahead. So while it shows me, and again, I don't want to come on here and discredit the, vic the, the, the alleged victim in any way, shape or form. But you, you don't have to look too far to understand that that couple have a reputation as well. That young, that that, they have a reputation of being a volatile couple mm -hmm. at times. You see what I mean? Publicly, these are things that are public knowledge. Now this, I'm gonna keep it real. There's no, this there's these new words that people try and label on men to try and keep men marginalized, like toxic masculinity and all these kind of words. But yeah, me personally, looking at that situation, it looks like she regretted that going public. She did. She regretted it going public, and the family regretted it going public. So at the start. I said, you can go back to the episode when it happened. I said, nothing will come of this. Nothing will come of this. All these big rape cases from last year, nothing has came of them because again, you have to look at the nature of the individuals involved and the things that they are into. There will be character, ref um, they would have character references and all of this stuff. Now, where the issue comes in for me is that people are calling like, remember the charge, okay, whether we don't know exactly what happened, so let me keep repeating that, but whether the charges have been dropped 
I mean, because the charges have now been dropped, does he not deserve to play sports again? Or do you just say, nah? So, so what grounds do you sack him? What grounds do you sack him? The, the charges have been dropped. Remember, he has not spoken. Mm-hmm. Now, if I was personally, let's say Green was, was Greenwood was my brother or Greenwood was my client, I would tell him to speak. I would tell him to speak. And when I say speak, what I mean is a sit down, tell all interview. That's the only way for him to stand a chance in playing at the highest level in England again. He needs a sit down, tell all interview and he needs to break down exactly what went on. Meaning, if it didn't go this way, he needs to speak. If it went that way, don't speak. But based on what's what's being said behind the scenes, he needs to speak. He needs to now speak. But this new, this new era is very worrying, noble for me. It's very, very worrying. This man versus woman. Yeah. Narrative Division. on social media. Go to normal. Division, separation, divide and conquer. This is all this thing is for. You got, you've got this, as you say, this predisposed view hyper masculinity. Now there is people. There are like men who, you know, males. Isn't that men who do go? They don't use that that word that that I use. Balance. A two in one side rather than having that balanced approach and dealing with women specifically. So yeah, we can't deny that don't happen. That's unfortunately the uh, the pitfalls of humanity and mankind. But we've got polarizing figures, we've got manosphere, incels, and all this stupid stuff because you've got males out here who don't want to step up to the plate and come from being a boy into a man and deal with things as a man would they're all in this crazy oh no no this is this is how it's supposed to be i'm supposed to be doing this women are you know are on this level and of course women and male and female have roles let's not get that twisted i don't care if it's the gregorian year of 2023 yeah, there is equality, but the type of equality that they're trying to push forth is that women can just roll around, box a man in their face, that they can disrespect men, can do all this, can say suck my dick nigger and all kind of stupid stuff. Like, huh? Is that ladylike? Is that how you should be conducting yourself? Women going around and saying, I ain't got no man. I've just got people who I see when I want. I'm liberated. This is the thing for me. When in essence, we rewind to the 90s, that type of woman would be labeled a H O E. Hmm? But now they've flipped the whole thing up to again divide, to separate male from female, you know, and create these crazy situations. Here's another thing which is more vital and more s- specific to what we're talking about with this Greenwood thing. This isn't just the first time this has happened, Mark, <laughs> and listeners and siblings, them. This isn't the first time. We see not just in football, we see in American football, we see in cricket, we cricket, we see in every aspects of sports entertainment and entertainment where we have these allegations. Some of them are indeed correct and true. Mm. But on the, there is a, a, a section of them which are totally like false. You've got people, women, who are specifically like, Oh shit, I want to go to that bar because that's where all the footballers hang out. Like, if I can just get with one, you know, maybe I can get some dirt and sell my story to to the flipping, the tabloids and all that there. Let me try and get my hooks in somewhere so I can get in where I fit in and try and get some some money some and some social currency, which they call clout of, of today. Facts. Mad thing. So what are, the gov- what are the footballers doing? What the football association? What are the managers doing? Where are the programs in place? Not just to say, okay, look, we're going to give you 75 wow a week. 
which is flipping what people don't even earn that a house every yeah. week let's keep it real you know what i'm saying yeah right so okay we're going to give you a little bit of financial literacy but we're not going to tell you about the woes and the trapments of you know you've got this success now you're now not going to be going to the the three barrels pub to drink you're going to some high class places you know you're going to be mingling with different types of people here at the pitfalls here are the type of things you should be looking out for if you have a relationship with a with a woman with a girl if it's a one night stand the like come on We've got a classic, we've got a big book here of all the stars, and these are the kind of things. Don't fall down this path. You're only 17. None of that's taking place, sibling. It's crazy, noble. I done media training. I done media training. I done uh, three days at uh, Pinewood, uh, just outside London. Pinewood were doing a course. And when you go on the course, it was about media training. So I went into this course, I went to the course, me and another content creator from Brom went down there and done three days in Pinewood. And when you sit down on the course, the first thing they say is, no politics, no religion. That's the first thing they say. No politics, no religion. Now, you're gonna probably be wondering why did I bring that up? Because what I'm saying is, I'm just someone who's on YouTube. Like, we're just you, like YouTube slash content creators, Noble, and we can access media training. So what I'm trying to say is, I'm pretty sure a club like Manchester United can access not only media training, but training of every aspect in a young man's life. If you take, if you took me, let me use me as an example. If you took me when I was 17 and gave me, forget 75,000, 25,000 a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just mm. give me that. I'm telling you right now, if everything I did were to be captured on camera, it would look not the best. Let's just put it like that. Because yeah. what you do is you give a man an inflated ego, Yes. What you do is you introduce. I was watching the Mike Tyson series. Now, when you're listening to me talk, you got to take emotion out of it. Take emotion out of it. Just listen to the facts. I was watching the Mike Tyson series on Disney. And when it was, they had like a highlight reel of his rise to fame and fortune. And one thing that they kept trying to highlight was that Mike could literally, if somebody said no to Mike, when it came to buying something or doing something, Mike would make the money pile up bigger until they said yes. Mm. Now, what that means is people in that position struggle to hear the word no. Yes. Struggle to hear the word no. I'm just telling you the facts. Ballers that make money and have a certain level of fame, especially someone like Greenwood, who was meant to have been the next hottest thing, mm -hmm. they have a certain level of entitlement. So any girl, any girl who's occupying a house with him, his mindset is probably like, yo, you're lucky to be here. Yes. Because if you're not with me in here, you're going to be out there like everybody else. I'm just telling people the facts. That's how Greenwood's mind would work. So what I'm trying to say is when a man who's making £75,000 is your man, the level of entitlement that man has, meaning people can try and pretend. Let's not pretend. When a man like that comes home, listen, he's saying, yo, mm. I need it. Yep. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's right. But when a man like that comes home, and when I say I need it, he could be meaning, yo, I need my dinner. I need something ironed. And when a man might say, you can't say that. He's saying, yo, I've made your life worry-free. Yes. Most people's worries are about money. So what I'm saying is people understand something. Just understand what I'm saying. That level of entitlement 
over time can grow into toxic behavior. So what I'm trying to say is both of them could be toxic. It could be where she's saying, yo, I can take you out of the game too. All this that you've done for me, I can make it end too. And that's why I believe, in my opinion, that certain, because listen, again, before I say what I'm going to say, the facts are that the video was way older than when it was released. Yep. So these voice notes and videos were kept in case they one day had to be used. Based on that act, I don't know if them, if somebody's holding on. Free, all right, forget that because there's no right or wrong way of saying this. I remember... And I shouldn't even really even be saying these kind of things, but there was a video going around in Brom of a high profiled individual who was in a compromising position. This video was going around and when you really spoke to the individual, because I spoke to the individual personally, and when they made me know what the situation actually was, it was nothing what like it looked like. And the person had receipts too. It was nothing what it looked like. So what I'm trying to say is that evidence isn't enough to convict a man. It's not. It sounds terrible. It is terrible how it looks. What's to say she didn't get into a fight with her sister and film that? Now, listen, I know it sounds bad that I'm even saying this. But but what how how do you know that's not the case? How can we definitively come on here and say that's not the case? How can we do that? We don't know. Now, as you said, Noble, there are ballers who, you know, they there are people out there who are just sick individuals. Yeah. Who are willing to who 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 live their life in a dirty way. Meaning they are they are that way, but what I'm saying is based on the information that's out there, that wasn't enough to convict to convict him. There's a reason why the parents and all of that were standing behind him because they know something we don't know. Now, Greenwood has, him himself has said, yo, he don't want to play for United again. He said that himself because he feels like they didn't stand behind him which it's difficult for a club to even get. Once a man once a man has a certain accusation over his head, you can't stand next to him. You got to separate as a as a business entity. <clears throat> pardon self. You have to separate yourself from controversy. It's it goes without saying you cannot align yourself with that. Once the dust has settled, then you can make a statement and say blah blah blah, but you cannot you, you know you can't be like defending unless, as I say, the evidence was like, wait a minute, this is this is folly. This is, uh, you know what? We're gonna take a strong stance and we're gonna publicly defend my you because we know not a Naguan. Now at the same time, PR wise, you're gonna get it in the neck. Oh, a big, huge football club and Man United. Nah, they're defending the case and my you's been accused of this. Nah, boss, what's what's going on? Is it just because of the money? And then you know, obviously, as we as we as we're building on now, like no no further action. So you have to stay neutral until the evidence has been presented. If a conviction has been made, then you say, look, yeah, we don't support that thing. We're cutting ties from my you this and that this and that. Oh, that's not the case. Well, we we have to discuss. We have to have a serious sit down with my youth. We're going to keep him, but we're going to put some things in place now. And as a result of this, what we're now going to do is what we should have been doing 10, 20, 30 years ago, is we're going to employ specific PR and media training for these people, you know, for our athletes who were making stewy money off, you know, entertaining millions of people, not just in the UK, but across the plane of existence. We're going to put in that work. We're not just going to use these people as we've been doing. Facts. And this is and this is where the this is where the real conversation needs to be had. Are these these players are given to listen, 
I know I'm all over the place, no, but I've seen man go from like not having nothing to a multi millionaire overnight. And now I know I say overnight, I mean the month, the work isn't overnight, but the money's overnight. Yes. Like you can literally be on the bus one day and, and you're in Ferrari showroom the next day. Do you know what that does to a person's ego? Now, unless you have some serious level-headed people around you, which most of them ballers don't have. No. Because even parents are scared to get cut off. Let me tell you that. So a lot of these ballers don't have level-headed people around them who can talk. So let's bear that in mind. So sometimes a man ends up thinking, yo, I'm invisible. I'm Teflon done. Mm. I can do anything. So I'm not saying that that isn't a possibility too. I'm just saying that based on what we are seeing, it wasn't enough. Even if the victim was to say, boom, I want to go full steam, there wasn't enough there because my man could say, he could say in court, now mind you, I'm gonna I'm qualified to speak like this, and I'm gonna say, I got charged with they try to say that um I tried to run a policeman over. He had to jump out the way of the car. That's what they tried to say. They charged me with it, no, but I think I was facing 24 to 36 months or something like that. I never done no remand or none of that stuff, but I did have a trial. And I represented myself. This is what I'm trying to say. I represented myself. I came out of there with no criminal record and a 250 pound fine for a traffic violation representing myself these are facts so i understand a little bit about the law mm -hmm. so what i'm trying to say is in court greenwood could easily remember he's got money he's got access to the best law <laughs> he's got access to the best yeah. lawyers the best yeah. solicitors barristers can, all that there. Or he can get the best so you have to imagine when he goes on if he goes to he can just say that video, I didn't do that. And in regard to the audio thing, he could say, that's how we talk to each other when it comes to SCX. Mm -hmm. Now, what what can they actually, you see what I mean? He hasn't spoke. He hasn't spoke. But what I'm saying is, you cannot now say he can't play football. This is crazy. You cannot now say he can't play football. That is madness. Now, if I would hate to be him, because I'd hate to have to face the, the crowds and the yeah. public. I would hate to have to do, like imagine, like he, he literally, he needs some people around him that can mentally take him out of the place where he's going to have some dark times ahead. Mark, how old is he now? How old is, is Green? Greenwood, let's, let's get the facts up, Noble. Let's get the facts up. I'll do it right now. Because he's still, because again, we've got the brain. Let's get scientific. The brain does not. He's 21. Forming. He's 21. 21. His brain's still forming. His brain is still forming. It's at its late latter point, but up to 26 years of age, your brain is still forming. Like, come on, people. Like, and with this, like, <laughs> he's a millennial. As, as I said previously, he's been born into this world where things aren't. Like it, they're not cut and dry now. Things are very fluid in regards to you know attitudes, etc. And when you put money involved, when you become a wagadan and you've got access to all this money, as you say, it's no okay. What about if I give you this? Okay, what about if I give you that? Oh, you're down now, then I didn't call you come because that's what I wanted. So just name it, name it the, the, the number and I'll pay you. Or it might be the case of. This is what I expect. This, this is, this is like, oh no, let's go back further. So you're in Club 64, or wherever, and you know there's a, a a female who, oh she looks alright, and she looks over. Oh my God, that's my guy. He plays for for Man for Man United. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 man. I, okay, I'm down, man. And they have a conversation, and it's straight to the room. And he explains what the expectations are, and she's like, well. I didn't think it, this would be the thing, but um, yeah, I'm down like four fat, four fat tires. I want to be associated with you. I want to be the, your next, 
you know, mainstay. If not, I can live off the, the, the publicity. I can go back to the, my little local village or my little town and say, yo, guess who it was I was with? Look, I got little selfies and all that. This, the currency in regards to relationships have totally changed. It's about having pictures with celebrities. It's about the money. Real talk. Especially in these kind of times. You know, you got a gal that's on OnlyFans showing feet and doing all kind of stuff because they cannot make ends meet. Like, no, they, but they... <laughs> let's, we can take this thing. We can take this thing back. We can take this thing back. I remember in Erdington, yeah, when I'm about 18, nine, eight, between 18 and 21 in Erdington, we had this girl come in. Now, the girl, she was from out of town, but when she came into Erdington, they said that she had money. I don't know how she got money, how she obtained it, but she had money. So she had the whole like breast, breast on. She was always glammed up to the nines, all of that. And we had these luxury flats in the the heart of Erdington. That these luxury flats that they had just built up, and at the time. To rent one of these flats, it was like 900 quid a month. That's how, you know, that's the big levels. Money back big money. Big money in Erdington. So just Jesus. understand. Now, this girl was glammed up. Noble, glammed up. And I remember, you know, I got I, I got into a conversation. Not to say that me and I was in nothing, but I, start, I, I, I spoke to her. I spoke to her. And when we were talking, like, she seemed like a real nice person in terms of, she seemed real nice, real, real nice, just a nice person. The more I spoke to her, she was very, she was she was solid, man. She, she seemed intact. But then, around the time a baller started to play for Villa, foreign guy, I don't, I'm gonna say his name, I ain't gonna say his name. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this baller started to play, play for Villa and my man, you'd see him about, he'd get his hair cut in, in like, he'd get his hair cut in Erdington and you'd see him running around with certain one and two rare, rare, whatever. And true, I knew a man who was in the team. It was like, when my man seen me by the training ground with a man that was in the team and he started to say, oh, my man's official, like, I can chat to my man. So I started to, like, burn CDs for him and do all of that stuff. Like, these men were just, like, They'd just come through, drop a hundred pounds and say, yo, do me all the latest CDs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how he'd roll. So I built up like a rapport with this guy. So he started to tell me. One day I seen him with this girl, you know what I mean? I seen him with the girl. So I'm like, right, you know that girl? And he's like, yeah, man, that's like my thing, you know what I mean? That's like, I have that going on with all sorts. I'm like, you talking about, man? But what he was trying to explain to me is that through his lens, the girl was different through my lens. Do you understand? Yes. So he was trying to say yes. that he just sees nothing but a, a piece of me almost. Yes. But to me, because man ain't really seen them levels of yeah, 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 success, yeah. he's trying to yeah, he's trying to say, yo, you're not really seeing the true that girl in her true form, like behind closed doors. Because he was telling me she was involved in all kind of things, threesomes and all kind of mad things. Now. I remember saying to my brethren, yo, how's she doing that for my man? But she ain't giving no band in the area no play. And what he was trying to, what everyone was saying is money does that. Yes. Money yes. and fame does that. So I'm trying to say people are losing all their moral compass, all of that stuff when it comes to football. Mm. So when you give a man an ego and you give a man resources, with money comes power, comes respect. Yes. Especially on that level. Mm-hmm. Especially on that level. Just like how Mendy, take Mendy. They were saying that Mendy was sometime dealing with, it's, this is absolutely disgusting, by the way. But they said some days he was running through four different girls in that house. So what I'm trying to say to you is, take away the status, take away the money. Is he doing that? With that same level of women, no, of course there you not. go. And, and this is the sad indictments on on the female spirit, the feminine, 
the feminine divine in some cases. Like, who raised you? That's the <laughs> question. <laughs> like, where's where's the foundation? Like, where's the moral compass? Where's the dignity for self? Because let's not get this twisted. This isn't the 90s where we had crap phones. And if you did want to videotape like a sexual encounter, it's going to be real, real grainy and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? So like, huh? you're going <clears> to, <throat> pardon self, you're going to just strip everything away. You could just, you're just going to become a vessel for somebody else's use. Just so you can say, midday. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, you see them man's on, the, on that football team. 90% of them, yeah. Yeah, man. I got bodies. Huh? That's cool. Yes, um, this is what's going on. This is what I'm saying. You can't. And it's not a defense. What people would do, they say, oh, it's a defense. No, there ain't no defense. There ain't no defense. You have to understand that this situation has gone so far left for all parties involved. It, it looks as though it's hard even this. it's hard no woman it's yeah, hard see, i know i know there's no uh, right or oh, it's, it's hard because you anything you say oh yeah it just you don't you just don't know you just don't know and the, and the situation is if we are now saying that how we're living life now is scary it's, it's, it's very scary times ahead because we live in life like this now when a person a person's growing and this is not even in relation to greenwood this is just in general when a person's growing through life they will change multiple times as the year goes on as the years go on it doesn't matter who you are like the mark 10 years ago is not the mark of now the mark 20 years ago is not the mark of now the longer you live the more you learn the more, the wiser you become, the more you yes. understand life. Mm -hmm. And what I'm trying to say is now, the precedence that we're now setting on social media is that if somebody makes a mistake, we now need to, that person's life's canceled forever. Like they cannot, like if you look at a lot of the great people that have walked this earth before us i was just gonna get into that mark they oh, all had the, the number one for me is malcolm x mm -hmm. i remember growing up learning that he was actually a pimp before he was malcolm x red red a pimp which is like looked upon as i know they tried to popularize it in today's world but a pimp is one of the lowest forms of hustling the lowest of and listen still to this day <clears throat> Pardon self. I and what? Quick, quickly before you go in, Noble. Quickly before you go in. What's a pimp? What does a pimp do? He he deals with women harsh and what what the pimp? Haven't you seen all them little comedy skips? Man put him talc and powder on their hand to slap the girl. Yes. Talk to me, Noble. Sorry. Mm. The lowest of the low. I ain't co-signing no pimping. I ain't co-signing no sex trafficking. As a youth. As a youth, as a, as a young, savage youth, <laughs> I thought that shit was cool. Mm, facts. In respect, in respect to a consensual agreement with two adults, no physical coercion involved. Look, I'm going to protect you from whatever you need to be protected from. I'm with that. You know, I'm sorry. I was with that, with the, with the mind, the savage mind, the young mind I had back then. But mm. as, you, as you alluded to, when you get older and when you grow and when you have experiences and you know better, you quote unquote, do better. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding brings forth a better clarity and better options for your daily life. Mm. Proper education always corrects errors, peace. Small, small little things or properly manifested and worked within your life we don't have these problems but the society and this is what goes over so many people's heads we see where how we started this conversation 
And you see the avenues where we're going now? So many things are interlinked. If, if the football association, if these football clubs didn't want these things to be happening, they'd be very far and few between. A thousand percent. You know what I mean? You have They're to train a man. You got to no, but you need to train a man because it's like financial understanding money is one of the hardest things you can do in life. To understand money and respect it and make it work for you is something that takes a lifetime to mm. to do. So what I'm trying to say is there's a reason why so much people who come into money fast lose it fast. Because they don't understand money. They don't understand money and it's a sickness. When, if you're a road man, yeah. When I say road man, I'm talking a road man who's actually making money. Yeah, let's, yeah. Say you, you're, let's say you're a man who's pulling £3,000 per week. Now, at the time, you might be saying to yourself, yo, life is beautiful. I feel like I'm, you're living life to the highest level. But, there's a conversation that people don't like to discuss. What happens is £3,000 a week, you now think that that money, you don't respect that money because you you haven't really worked as hard as, the ne- as a man who's not on the road to make that money. So when you're making that £3,000, a £1,000 to you is not the same as a £1,000 to a normal man. Yes. So what happens is this, A man's career on the road comes to an end, which it always does. Now, one day he has to face the music and go into the real world that the rest of us live in. When he goes into that real world, he still looks at that thousand pound the way he did Uh when he was on the road. Uh That's a very dangerous thing. Uh Now, what I'm trying to say, yeah, you you don't put no value in money. Now, that's what happens with a lot of these ballers. They're paid this, um, these large amounts of money, but they're not taught how to make it last. So they don't know how to make the money stretch. They don't know how to invest. They don't know none of these things. All they know is what everyone else knows, ballers, cars, clothes. You know what I mean? A lot of them, some some of them, you, there's certain men who 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 don't think like that because they got the right people around them support circle they've mm-hmm. got the right system the right mechanism like you said support circle whereas the other set of ballers don't have that so money don't mean nothing to them they make money they spend money they make money they spend money they do whatever they need to do they get it and it goes they say as fast as it comes it goes yes now until these clubs start to invest in these players' futures. And when I say their futures, I mean, after they leave the club, Uh you're going to have a lot more of this kind of stuff going on because Greenwood is a product of of this, what we're talking about. Yeah. People don't want to to admit this, but I don't expect, what what was he at the time, 19, 20? I don't expect... He was, what, 18 at the time? 18? I don't expect, or 19, sorry, I don't expect a 19-year-old to understand what I understand at 35. I don't expect that because me at 19, 75 grand per week, I probably don't want to hear nothing from no one too. (laughs) Now, I'm not saying I'm going to thump down Gallo or nothing like that or I'm going to take front. But it may, may, I'm just saying if it's me, if you're not yeah. giving it, I'm probably going elsewhere for it. Because yeah, I know yeah, that, yeah. yo, I'm high. So, so, I'm making, I'm 75 yeah. bags. We can we can literally get up in the morning and say, where do we want to go? And we can be there the next day. This, if, like if, when you're living a life like that, listen, there's not too many men who, where, you support, no more. <laughs> not, no more. Money, this is, this is see, we, you, we're, we're breaking it down now. Monetary systems, money, unit of exchange. What value do you put on that? As you said, some people put no value in it and it just comes in, it goes. But it's about what you just said there. 
tomorrow let's go to Costa Rica. Let's get that experience. And once you've got that traveling bug out your system, then it's like, okay, yeah, man. I've learned so much going to all these different countries, not just going to Dubai and hiring a flipping Ferrari or a lamb. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I ain't talking that stupid stuff. I'm talking about really enriching your life. Now we're in a position coming from where if some look Wibby, Wibby in, in, in the cool village up in up in Leeds somewhere up in Yorkshire way. Yeah. Look at you, yeah. You know, he was on this team, you know, oh shit, now he's on 75. Wow. See it there. Like it, it's just it, it's huge jump. So of course, man, of course, anyone comes into money. You win the lottery. Here's a question to the listeners: You win the lottery. What are you gonna do with that? There, you have some. You have you have many different d- divisions in regards to what people are gonna do. I'm gonna go on holiday first thing. I'm gonna get myself an M8. I'm gonna get myself a Porsche thing. Da 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 da. You have other people in the other hands. I'm paying all my bills off first. That's what I'm gonna do. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, my mom, my dad, my sisters, my blah, 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 I'm paying all their bills off. Any debt they've got, I'm doing that there. I'm buying them all a house. Okay, I've got half left. Okay, now it's time for me to splurge. I'm buying myself a new house. We're going on holiday and stuff. Yeah, the realistic things, not the shit. Let me get myself that Gucci belt, man. Yeah, yo, I want that little bag thing that everyone's got. Yeah, I want the shoes. I want the the Balenciaga things, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want the mm-hmm. priority. Want the when you're the breadwinner, when you're the breadwinner, yeah. In any situation, the breadwinner commands a certain respect. Mm-hmm. Like, let's keep this thing real. People are going to pretend that what I'm saying is toxic masculinity. But when a man's a breadwinner, no matter the situation, a certain respect comes along with that. I, I have to be given, it, Mark. It, 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 no, it does. I definitely have to be given. But then there's certain boundaries that that breadwinner can cross. I'm not saying it's right. But a man like that, you got to think when a man's changed your whole... When a man's in that position at that young age, he believes I'm the man. That's what he truly believes. He believes I'm the man and nobody can tell me nothing. And if I want something, I need it immediately. And if it don't happen immediately, I'm going to go where it can happen immediately. But it potentially sounds like it didn't happen. And a man's could have potentially allegedly, you know, see what I'm saying. But I do want to get into this video, man. So, hey, last thing, last thing, yeah, go last thing on this here. As you alluded to about the greats and, and Malcolm X, a.k.a. Malik um, Shabazz, Al mm. Shabazz. Mm. If we look at the greats, like the great athletes, like everyone has some kind of controversy around them. Whether it's true or not true. Let's look at the, the professional sports. Mike Tyson, Desiree Washington, very questionable. He did time. Tupac Shakur, you know, <laughs> went to, to San Quentin for nine months and stuff. Like, w- w- young people, again, young people put into ridiculous positions. Ridiculous positions with no, with no, with support to a point. But you find that the, the creme de la creme always get themselves mixed up into crazy shit. John Jones. Look at what he's Kobe. Conor McGregor. Kobe, uh, rest in peace. Kobe, yes. Conor. Yes. You can, keep, you can go through the list. Any of the ones who are at the... the Ronaldo. Top, 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 it, yeah, come on. Rooney, come you on. can go through the list. There's always something that they, 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 they you know whether they get convicted or, or not, they're put into positions where they're bound to fall, to trip, to, to slip up, to do some some crazy stuff. It's a mad thing. Absolute madness. Absolute madness. But is it, it's a situation where people will, in, in people, people look at some people, it's, it's easy to, this may be the easiest point in, in, human civilization yeah where it's easy to control the masses 
Yes. And I'm telling you right now, it's a scary time, no, but because any narrative can be pushed against anybody <clears throat> with the right tools. Yes. And no one questions nothing. No one questions anything as long as, as long, literally, you can just slap anything on anybody and put that label on them. And a man has to almost hold that label. And I'm just saying, like, you've got to allow people to to prove their innocence or you've got to allow to... You have to allow the the offence to prove that they're guilty and the defence to prove they're not guilty. Mm-hmm. Now, if, the, if somebody goes to court and it's proved not guilty, you have to accept the outcome. I'm not saying that you need to believe the outcome, but one thing you need to do is accept it. Because when it comes to things like these things... Pedophilia, domestic violence, um, animal cruelty, whatever these 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 things may be, uh, rapist, any of these labels, these are sicknesses that a person does not like. If Greenwood is what people are saying he is, he'll do it again. Thousand percent. If he is a domestic abuser who hates women and who rapes women and he's got away with this, he'll do it again. That's the facts. If you're a pedophile, you'll do it again. So let time tell us the truth. But for now, this allegation did not get seen through and there's a reason for that. People might say money, but there's more money in the person seeing through the allegation. Matter of fact, that person actually risk tarnishing themselves by withdrawing from the allegation. Excellent point. So you have to think to yourself, if my man is all these things, and this is where I'm going to leave 